Good morning, everyone. I just have my hair up in a bun. I just got out of the shower and I thought I would show you guys my new skincare routine that I've been doing. So since being pregnant, my skin is definitely, it's not been the worst it's ever been, but it's also not been the best. So I decided to um, start a new skincare routine and invest in like some more products that would actually be doing things to my face instead of just like cleansing and moisturizing every day, which is pretty much what I was doing before. Um, I don't do all of these things every single day, but um, I haven't, usually I'll do them like once or twice a week, and today's one of those days where I need to do it. So in the morning, the first thing I do is the clindamycin, just because that's like supposed to go on a dry face that's like medicated. Um, and then the next thing I'll do is my serum. So this is the Summer Fridays CC Me Serum, Brighten and Illuminating. This is a vitamin C serum and it looks like this. I'll just apply that. This kind of smells like, oh my God, what does it smell like? But this is just like a brightening serum, vitamin C serum. So you let that dry. I've learned in skincare, you have to layer and you have to let things dry before you put the next layer on. So in between that, I'll just take my pills. Does anyone else have a pill bottle like this and just feel like a literal old lady? When you're pregnant, you have to take like a million pills a day. So bottoms up. <laughs> okay, so the next thing is um, hyaluronic acid, which is apparently like this new holy grail in skincare. So this is the brand The Ordinary. It's hyaluronic acid 2%. And I've learned that hyaluronic acid you're actually supposed to put on your face when it's wet. So I have this Caudalie, Caudalie grape water, which is just like a water spray for your face. So I'll spray that. Just lightly and then I'll put on hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid actually feels really good on your skin. It's supposed to like lock in moisture, which is why um, your face is supposed to be like sort of damp when you apply it. And then a lot of mornings I put on this Polish Choice sunscreen, which is just um, an SPF 50. We have Polish Choice. Um, I'm not gonna put this on this morning just because it's raining. And I know that when it's raining, it can still be kind of sunny, but I, don't want to. Um, I'm gonna be inside all day, so. Last thing is just my moisturizer. So in the morning, I just use CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is also like recommended by dermatologists. If you have sensitive skin like me. And I, I have like combo skin, but like mostly dry, I would say. So in the winter, my skin gets really dry. Oh, Evie. All right, and that is it for skincare. I'm gonna give everything a minute to sink in before I do my makeup. So one thing I wanted to mention, now that I am almost 18 weeks, I'm 18 weeks tomorrow. Um, the next like exciting thing that happens is you start to feel the baby moving. And that's like something that everyone keeps asking me. They're like, can you feel the baby yet? Like, have you felt him move? And I'm like, I don't know, because here's the thing. I've never been pregnant before. Um, I've never, you know, experienced what it feels like to have a human being moving inside of your body. I have felt like what I would describe as like, I don't know, just a sensation, like a flutter, um, which I'm only using the word flutter because I know that's like what I've read and like what other people have described it as. Um, it doesn't really feel like a flutter though. It almost just kind of feels like a pulling um, so I don't know. My doctor asked me the same thing. She was like, have you felt baby move yet? And I was like, honestly, like, I don't know because I had nothing to compare it to. So until I like definitively am like, that was a baby kick. <laughs> I don't really know if I felt him move or not, but I think I felt something. Um, which is exciting, but my baby is like super low right now. My doctor was telling me like the further along throughout your pregnancy, 
the baby's like low, low, like by your pubic bone sort of, and then gets higher, like your belly button. And then at the end, like he'll be literally underneath my rib cage, like not allowing me to breathe. And see, so probably around like 19 or 20 weeks, I'll start being able to feel things, which I'm so excited about. Um, I feel like it'll really like help me bond and, you know, just be like, oh, he's there. Anyways, another exciting thing that is happening that I don't think I've mentioned, um, Jordan and I are going on a baby moon. Um, we, we decided to go to Turks and Caicos. We found a really good flight um, at a really good price. It was like a thousand dollars round trip for both of us. And the main reason we decided to book it is because the flight was only three hours and I am pregnant. So I don't really want to be on a plane for an extended period of time, like more than three hours. Um, we've never been, um, we've actually never been on a tropical like vacation with just each other. We've been with family like multiple times. We've been to Mexico, we've been to Aruba, um, we've been to Belize, but every single time it was like with family and like extended like family friends and stuff. So I'm really excited to go on a tropical vacation just with Jordan. It's gonna be super romantic. It's gonna be so relaxing. We're leaving on a Wednesday morning and then coming back on a Sunday. So it's just like a few days, nothing crazy long. Um, I don't really want to be out of the country for that long while I'm pregnant. It just makes me semi-anxious. I have a doctor's appointment and an ultrasound the week before we leave. So I feel like that will give me a little bit of peace of mind you know, just to make sure that everything is okay before we leave and like feel good about leaving the country. When I was researching islands or like, you know, fun, like baby moon tropical vacation places to go, um, we found Turks and Caicos and then I was doing a bit more research on it and people were saying like, if you want a vacation where you can just relax and not, you know, be doing excursions and be partying and be like clubbing and stuff like that. Like Turks and Caicos doesn't really have like a nightlife scene, which is exactly what we want. Like we are not nightlife people. Um, we never really have been. And the party stage is definitely behind us. So basically Turks and Caicos, like if you're a vacation person that likes to just relax when you're on vacation, which is exactly what we are looking to do. We just want to lay in a pool chair um, by the beach or the ocean and relax. We're excited to just like relax, eat some food. It's also our five year wedding anniversary um, during the time that we're going. So it's like a baby moon, you know, last little vacay before a baby comes. Um, last time that we'll really like spend a vacation, just the two of us. And then um, it's also our five year anniversary. So we have lots to celebrate. I'm so excited. It's like less than a month away, you guys. I cannot wait. Oh my gosh, and the resort we're staying at is gorgeous. Um, I definitely, I'm like such a planner. So I did a lot of research on the resort and everything. Um, because, you know, we're going to be spending most of our time at the resort. We're not really going to be doing like excursions because I can't really do anything when I'm pregnant. I mean, I can snorkel and I can kayak, but that's pretty much it. Like I can't go horseback riding. I can't, I really don't like being on boats. <laughs> I don't like being on water. Um, so that's not really something we're interested in doing. We're going to be spending most of our time at the resort. So I'm like, well, we should, you know, put our money for the vacation into what's most important to us and for that it's the resort so the resort is gorgeous you guys i am pumped i'll definitely do like um like a pack with me or like a i mean we're definitely gonna vlog when we're there but also um do like a pack with me or like a haul or something of clothes that i'm getting for the trip because I definitely needed some new bathing suits, so I'm not buying a ton, but you know, 
a few cute new vacation clothes. Okay, now on to hair. Um, I actually acquired, and by acquired, I mean I purchased the Dyson Corral, um, and I'm obsessed with it. So I've curled my hair with a curling wand, just like a wand with no barrel. Um, I think I was using the brand Numi for a really long time. Um, and I wanted like a different way to curl my hair. So I was looking into my options. I had heard about like the Dyson Airwrap, um, but I don't really blow dry my hair. I usually like shower at night and sleep with my hair wet, which I know is not the greatest thing ever, but that's what I do. And so I didn't really need the blow dryer, like with the air wrap, but I kind of wanted like to try out the curling aspect. And then one of my coworkers told me about this, the Corral, which is a straightener, a straightener, but basically you can curl your hair with it. I've never really learned to curl my hair with a straightener. So it was definitely a learning curve. <laughs> um, it definitely took me a while to figure out the motion and like how I wanted the curls to look. But now that I have the hang of it, it is so easy and it's so quick. This curling iron was $500, which is a lot, but you know, it's something that has a warranty on it if it ever, you know, breaks and it's just super, super easy to use. As you can see, like you basically just take a piece of hair, place the straightener on it, twist it like one or two times and then pull. And then you get a curl. Um, the only thing about it is, like I said, it did take a bit of practice and learning to figure it out and then also um, you have to use small sections of hair for it to work because the the plates like aren't that wide so if you use like too big of a section of hair it doesn't really work and then when you curl the other side you sort of have to do it in like a different direction in order for the curls to go away from your face so i hold it this way twist this is so much quicker with my short hair. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm really gonna like the way it looks with my short hair. Ta-da! Okay, this is the final look. There's my hair, looks super cute on the back. Love it, and then, and I have to go or I'm gonna be late for work. I still have to put my jewelry on, but this is the outfit. It's like this cute little jumpsuit that I got from Madewell. And these like platform shoes, cute.